This is not a kid-friendly show. <laughs> Yo, what's going on my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. So today we're gonna be talking about another Twitter twice. This time from Mod Ramen. Now this isn't a confirmation of anything, but this most likely is gonna come into the game. I would I wouldn't see why not. So the tweet says, Edgeville has been destroyed for so long, I'd forgotten why it'd been destroyed. Let's rebuild Edge for Con XP. Now a while back, like around the time of the Summer Summit update, they were talking about reworks and construction was one of them. And one of the ways they wanted to help construction out is to do things like service world construction. Specifically, they said things like building house layouts, etc. for NPCs. But a lot of things that players suggested was to be able to rebuild Edgeville. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you probably haven't reached that far in the quest. But without spoiling anything, it needs a rebuild due to events that happened in another quest. For a long time, players have been wanting to rebuild it via the construction skill. So it's really interesting to see Mod Ramen post this. Now, like I said, it doesn't mean he's confirming that it's going to happen, but for him to even say it, it's more than likely going to happen, which is great. It probably means we're going to get some kind of Edgeville graphical update as well, because they like to do these events around graphical updates as well. Have you seen with Falador and Port Sound, they have some kind of thing going around it. So the whole rebuild Edgeville thing, it kind of writes itself in terms of what you need to base your event around. I mean, there's already a theme to go off of, which is good. I mean, thematically, it doesn't make sense if you have haven't done the quest but that's why i say they incorporate a uh, graphical rework because that way it does incorporate anybody who hasn't done the quest because you're rebuilding edgeville to look newer if you haven't done the quest and if you have you're literally just rebuilding the town but that's not to say that if this update even comes out that'll even be implemented this way so what i'm saying is if they really wanted to keep it chronological they could make it so this rebuild that you have to do is only accessible after you complete that quest that's also a possibility so another thing i want to talk about is is this temporary content i mean by the sounds of it why would you need to keep rebuilding it because what's breaking it down there shouldn't be anything keep breaking it down for you have to rebuild so in that sense, it might be just temporary content or like a one-off thing, not necessarily temporary content, but like something you just do once and you complete it and you're done. I personally would love for, for them to find a way to make it repeatable because I think we do need more ways of training construction. And I think this is a nice start. Another thing I haven't even considered till now is level requirement. Is this something that like you need a certain level to even partake in or is it scalable XP? We don't know. Is it because that's determined on whether or not it's gonna be in an event, right? If it's an event, then it's scalable. It has to be. If not, then they can put a cap on it or a level requirement on it. We're gonna have to watch this space and find out. Anyways, guys, let me know in a comments below what you think about rebuilding edgeville pretty cool stuff like the video if you enjoyed it and if you haven't subscribed already why not subscribe i got new runescape videos coming out almost every single day dog anyways thanks for watching my dudes i'm out peace